and she's going to speak on how the Latinos use the N-word without you knowing it. Because a black person, a black male is moreno. So if they use the word negro, which means black, that means they're saying the N-word. They're using it in a negative way. Moreno is the correct term to call a black person. Or if it's a female, morena. But when they say negro, which means black, they're trying to be funny. So she's going to break it down to you how you guys can know when they're calling you the N-word without you knowing it. You understand? Because these are the tricks and, you know, little games that they play with you because you don't know their language. So they're able to be racist secretly without you knowing what they're doing. How do you know if a Spanish-speaking person is calling you the N-word? Let's start by setting the fact that, yes, there is an N-word in Spanish. The word is negrata and it's only used in Europe. It's used in Spain. In Latin America, we do not have this word. We do not use this word. However, we can still very much be called the N-word. So how do Spanish-speaking people call us the N-word in Spanish? By using black not as an adjective, but as a noun. And I feel like that's what he meant by, we know by the tone. They are not using negro to describe us. They're using negro to tell us what we are. You know, put us in our place or something. Let me give you an example. If in Spanish you say the sentence, Asia hay muchos Latinos negros. That means, yeah, there are a lot of black Latinos. You're using it as an adjective. You're using it to describe people. Or if you say Barack Obama is negro, you're saying Barack Obama is black. On the other hand, you can use black, and this is done by racist people here. You can use it as a noun. Barack Obama is un negro. Ugh, the ick. That it means, well, Barack Obama is a black? I feel like you guys do have this expression and it is kind of offensive in American English to say a black. Trust me, it is much worse in Spanish. In Spanish, it does sound like the N-word. But there's another way that they do it, which is that they accompany the word negro with an actual adjective. So they, you know that negro is what you are, that is your name, your, that's a noun, and the adjective is an additional. They don't have to do it with a particularly negative adjective, but they usually do. So they usually say, negro huyoso, negro ladrón, negro hijo de puta, negro perezoso, negro esto, negro lo otro. Like you are, uh, you black this, black that, black that, black that. Another way they use it is that they unnecessarily tell you someone's race and switch it with their profession. Like you could be using their name or their profession, but they choose, actively choose to call them a black. They don't say something like, oh yeah, that woman's annoying. They say, esa negra es insoportable, like that N-word is annoying. Oof, when they use esa or ese negro, like, you know, like, that's, if, if the tone is there. But yeah, rule of thumb in general, if you are being called the N-word in Spanish, they're using it not as an adjective, not as a way to describe you, to identify you. It is not necessary to specify your race, but they use it as a noun to tell you that's what you are and that's all you are. Another fun fact about racism in Latin America, that there are a lot of expressions referencing skin color that are uh, normally used by people. Most people who use these do not consider themselves racist, even though they are. So they call black people uh, cardboard colored people, poop colored people, poverty colored people. I am not making this up. They actually do that. And they don't think they're being racist. They think it's playful. So yeah, the more you know.